So let me say this up front that InstaQuote is not for everyone. Most people can't even wrap their heads around it. They're stuck in their old ways, thinking they have to go do every single estimate in person. And that's absolutely fine if that's how you want to run your business. But I'll tell you this. I absolutely love competing against those guys because while they're spending all day driving around, walking properties, chasing tire kickers, we're closing more jobs in a month with InstaQuote than most companies do in an entire year. So in this video, I'm going to walk you through exactly how InstaQuote works from the customer's perspective as well as the back end so you can see how we built this thing to give insanely accurate pricing without ever stepping foot on the property or even talking to the client. So if you're interested in trying this out for yourself, we've got a 14-day free trial, myquoteiq.com. You can try it out. It's in the ultimate package. But I'm not saying that in-person quotes are wrong. There's value in that personal touch. But your time, it's limited. You've got jobs to do. You've got businesses to manage, a business to grow, right? And the truth is, over 70% of the time, you're wasting that time on price shoppers or people who will never hire you anyway. And that's exactly why we built InstaQuote. It increases your close ratio, it cuts down on wasted time, and it turns your website into a 24-7 salesperson and scheduler for less than $5 a day. And here's the beauty of it all. You can still do your in-person quotes when you want to, when you've got the time, but you'll never miss another lead. You're never gonna let another customer that hits your website slip through the cracks again because Unlike a boring contact form that so many websites have, InstaQuote actually gives people what they came to your site for, and that is a price, and that's how you get their information. That's what gets them to convert. That's what sets you apart from everybody else. So let's check it out. All right, so we are on a website that has InstaQuote installed. I like this. It's simple, and it's to the point. People know exactly what they're getting when they hit this website. They will click on one of the services, which is going to open up InstaQuote, and it's going to show them every service that the business owner has chosen to show them, right? I like to show a bunch of different services, and the reason that we do this is very simple, upselling, right? They may have come just for a house wash, but now they see all the other services that you offer, and they might say, hey, I want to try or get a price on concrete cleaning, patio cleaning, whatever. And so we're just giving them the option to upsell themselves. So for this demonstration, we are just going to click on house wash. We are going to click continue. And this brings us into how we fine tune the estimate. So we give an accurate estimate every single time. We're not going to be leaving money on the table because we're going to go and we're going to do all of our homework. So we know exactly what we need to charge. First question house size okay you can see we've got a huge selection here customer doesn't need to know their exact square footage all they need to have is a basic range so we're just going to say it's a 3,000 to 3,500 square foot home the next question is what's the surface now everything that you're looking at here is completely customizable every question uh, can be changed it can, you can add anything that you want so uh, in our area these are the most common surfaces of homes so we're just going to go ahead we're going to cl click on vinyl uh, and then we're going to fine tune the quote even a little bit more stained front door. Do you have a screen porch? Do you have a detached garage? These are all questions that I need answers to. So I can determine uh, if we're going to have to charge more with the stained front door. If they have one, we're going to have to tape it. We're going to have to put plastic up. That's going to cost us time and money. So we're going to upcharge for it. So yes. Do you have a screen porch? They don't. Do you have a, a detached garage? No. But if they did, there was going to be upcharges associated with that. And I'm going to show you where those are and how you set those up here in a second. The next question is, how long has it been since your last house wash, okay? Uh, two years, three years, last year. We know that if it was clean last year, it's going to be pretty clean. We don't need to upcharge. If it was five years ago, guess what? It's probably pretty nasty. It's going to take us more time, more chemical. We need to increase the price. So we're going to go four years. How many stories is your house? How many floors is your house? That's a very great question. Uh, two stories. If there's three stories, it's going to cost more. So then we're going to click continue. Then it's gonna prompt us to put in all of our information, so I'll do that super fast. The property address field is powered by Google, so we know that we're gonna get an accurate address every single time, so nobody's you know, putting in the wrong address and we go to the wrong house. Next is, how did you hear about us? Now, this is an important question because you need to know what marketing is working best, right? Is it Google, is it email, is it postcards? If you're doing something that's not generating leads, you need to know about that, you need to track that. It's all on the dashboard. Nice little graph to tell you exactly where you're at. So if your email marketing sucks, you need to get better at it. If you're running ads on Google and nobody's converting, then stop spending money on Google or get better at it. But we'll say Google, and then we're going to say get a quote. So there you have it. Quick, fast, efficient. 
This house is going to cost $680 to do. It was done four years ago. They've got a stained front door. I can't remember all the other parameters, but that is the price it's generated. And as you can see, the terms and conditions that we've uploaded are also there. So if you've got a customer contract, they can click it. They can read it. It's got all of your you know, information. And if you don't have a customer contract, I'll put a link in this video. You can get one for yourself. There is also a PDF that they can click. This way they can print it out if they need to keep it for their records. Uh, the next step is either accept or decline the estimate. So for this, we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna accept it. We're gonna type in a name. Yes, I accept it. And so from here, we're gonna be able to either schedule now or schedule later because we wanna get on the schedule. We wanna book it like most customers do when they get an estimate that they accept. We're gonna let them schedule now. Now, this is something that you do not have to turn on, and I'm going to show you that here in a second. But what this is going to do is like today, there is no times available. So let's look at the 14th. We have some time slots available, 9.30, 9.45, 10, 15. We'll say 10.30. That works for us. We have this set up for a two-hour window uh, because it's only a house wash. And uh, we're going to go ahead and confirm that schedule appointment. Yes, we want to confirm that. They'll be prompted with this notification saying that we'll be in contact shortly with the actual confirmation because... Maybe you need to make an adjustment. Maybe you need to move something around, increase the, the length of time for that particular day. Regardless, uh, then you're going to have a notification on your phone uh, in the app as well. And it's going to tell you that, that they accepted a quote and they scheduled an appointment. These are great things that I love to see on my phone, and I'm sure you would too. So now let's go back into Quote IQ so we can see what this looks like on the inside. Okay, and as you can see here, here's a couple of them. Here is the schedule request. We can either delete it, accept it, or reschedule. But because this is just a dummy, we ain't going to put it on the schedule. But let's go look at our services. So as you'll see here, all of these coincide and match with what you saw on the InstaQuote. Now, if you were promoting roof washing and you wanted that to be the first thing people saw, you could move it up there and that's going to pop up first. That's not what we are going to do, though. We're going to look at the pricing matrix now, how we fine tune these quotes so we are able to give an accurate quote every single time. So we're going to click edit. This is just a general uh, setup for all of your services. Again, you can add as many services as you want uh, for any kind of industry. Doesn't really matter. They're uh, completely customizable. So service name is house wash, 10 cents a square foot, uh, a, a quick, easy description. We've got a 3,000 count character, uh, so you can really you know, give a lot of information. But in my opinion, most customers, they just want a brief explanation. They want a price. They know what a house wash is. You don't have to tell them about the equipment, the chemicals, the process. They don't care. Trust me. Anyway, you can do square foot price, linear foot price, a per quantity. Those are all of the options that you have. And uh, you've got your time duration. So two hours is about typical for a house wash for us. You can change that if you want. Do you want to allow self-scheduling online? Yes, we do. Do we want to display this on InstaQuote? Yes, we do. And our service minimum price for any job is $225. So that's what just setting up a regular service looks like. Next, we're going to go into the pricing matrix. This is going to allow us to fine tune. So as you can see, here are all the things that you saw on InstaQuote, all of the questions the different prices and sizes for houses, as you can see, 25 to 3,300 square foot. This is the base price that everything else builds on top of, okay? Now, if you just had a square foot price of say 20 cents, 15 cents, 10 cents, whatever, uh, and you allowed them to put in their square foot, then it would just populate the price and you wouldn't have to do this. I like this because it allows the customer to uh, select because they might not know the exact square footage and we want them to fill it out. So as you can see, each of these is set up. Next is uh, a question. Now you can see here, this is, says drop down. This says yes and no. And these are because these are drop down questions. What's the surface of your home? All of these different options are there. Stucco, hardy plank, you know, stucco and brick. We're going to charge a little bit more because it's going to take a little bit more time. You already saw what the yes and no questions look like. Do you have a stained front door? Do you have a detached garage? But here is where you can add brand new stuff, right? If you're doing a concrete patio or a deck, you're going to want to know what the dimensions are, the width and the length. And this is going to allow customers to provide that information so then you can get them an accurate quote. But you can do a drop down. You can do the yes and no. And again, dimensions. So we know what those look like. So we're going to keep going down. And again, here's, uh, you know, how long has it been since your last house? These are drop downs. Pretty, pretty self-explanatory. But again, as you can see, everything is completely customizable with 
uh, prices. You can do a fixed price. You can do a percentage. Uh, you can do an upcharge. If you wanted to discount something, I've never discounted anything in my life as far as the wash business. So, you know, we put that in there in case somebody did want to do a discount. Yeah. So those are just a couple things that you can do uh, as far as the Insta quote to really fine tune that price. Make sure that you're not leaving money on the table and your customer is getting an accurate price anytime they hit your Insta quote. So we're going to save, we're going to update. And now that is absolutely positively live on the website. So if we made any changes, they're going to be reflected there. So that is InstaQuote in a nutshell. That was a quick walkthrough tutorial. And uh, we just wanted to kind of show you what the capabilities are, what it looks like from both the customer's perspective and from the back end. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed the video. If you've got any questions, please let us know. Um, if you think that this is something you could use in your business, leave a comment below. Yes, I could use it. Or no, Mike, you're crazy. I want to go look them in the eye, shake their hand, kiss their baby. But at the end of the day, it's your business and you choose what's best for you. So that is it. If you want to set up a demo call, please do. MyQuoteIQ.com. If you want to go and you want to try it out for yourself, click on uh, Try InstaQuote. We've got mobile detailing, carpet cleaning, uh, lawn care, exterior cleaning, lots of different choices. So whatever industry you're in, uh, we've got an example. And again, completely customizable for any service. As you saw, that's it. Hope you enjoyed and uh, check out MyQuoteIQ.com.